Good morning. This is your morning standstill with Jimmy Ohio. Let's see what we got here. Yep. Brake lights. Oh, we're moving. No, we're not. Well, you're live on W. How? Uh, and, uh, I've been getting up earlier. You see, uh, the wife's out of town. So I'm, uh, you're riding along in a 19, I really don't know. I don't know how old this car is, but it's within a decade of being created, which is a new thing for me. I, uh, I buy cars in cash because I don't like loans, which usually means they're about 12 years old. I got this one at a hundred thousand. I've already put 3,000 miles on it. I got it like maybe four months ago, but it's a nice car. Uh, I only have these aviator sunglasses in this car. Huh. Merging, please hold. But it's got like a, a six CD player, you know? It's got one of those uh, input jacks for the uh, stereo. Got a little DVD player, uh, you know, screen, folds down. It's got cordless headphones. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm moving up in the world. Yep. I'm even taking a new route. Uh, let's see, where am I? I don't even know. 14. I-14. Southbound. Traffic is kind of smoothed out. Oh, look at that. We got a little uh, <clears throat> bounce cam this morning. It's on the dash. Instead of the, instead of the, uh, you know, windshield like usual. Wow, the sun's, sun's kind of beautiful this morning. It's like one of those movie sunsets, sunrises. I don't know, I'm getting up too early. Woo, that's a scorcher. That sun is kicking. My girls go to a private school because because it's difficult to be the uh, the kid of a uh, difficult to be the kid of a celebrity. You know, uh, it's a private school because we're private people. And uh, you know how celebrity kids turn out. Just uh, check out Hank Williams III. Nothing, nothing good can come of that. But being the kid of a celebrity, you know, it's not all uh, cheese and crackers. We have our challenges. Ooh, that sun. Burning a hole in my head. Toyota Sienna. 
Never thought I'd see the day. I'm sure you're surprised. Traffic's slow, but not not bad. We got back up to 60 miles an hour. I did swing by the uh, corner store, party store. Got the girls a well-rounded breakfast of donuts and water. Donuts are, uh, they cover all the bases. You got the, uh, the grains. Uh, it's custard filled. You got the, uh, the milk. I'm not sure if sugar is on that, but it, you know, it might be, it might be on the pyramid. Ouch! That sun is, bam. The wife skipped town again. She's on a business trip. It's a don't ask, don't tell situation. guy at the party store uh, he's catching on I mean I ran in the girls stayed in the car because we were in a bit of a hurry I wanted to get them on time which I did you know but uh, he was nice to me maybe he saw that I was buying food for my kids and approved Uh, I don't know. He said, uh, have a good day. Whoa. It's a stride. I'm going to do a dangerous thing here and try to plug in my phone. Ah, ah, got it. I've been watching these uh, Korean action films on uh, Netflix. Damn, they are good. Hot damn. I mean, you got a lot of martial arts, but they are shot beautifully, the ones I've seen. And the storylines are superb. And uh, I've always watched movies with uh, subtitles. But it seems like most people would get into that these days because YouTube, you know, on scroll, you're always seeing subtitles, and I guess people are reading them. So maybe they could uh, transition into watching some, you know, good French films if they don't know French. I like uh, French New Wave a lot. Or Korean films. I don't know Korean. I know a Korean. I think I know a couple. I'm not sure on that one. I have to do some research. But the actors are uh, handsome and beautiful, but not not overly attractive like a lot of the uh, American movies. They still have a little grit to them. There's uh, one I watched last night called The Divine Move. Divine Move. Highly recommended. The guy was uh, playing, I don't know, I, on the subtitles it's called Go. Not Pokemon Go, but Go. It's kind of like a, uh, I don't know, checkers or something. They use little beads, white and black beads. I didn't catch on to the game, but uh, one of the guys was caught cheating. It's called ghost cheating, where, you know, the, the guy in the parlor playing has a little earphone and camera. And then somebody in the van that's really good, you know, tells him how to play. But they caught him. They killed his brother. They framed him after they beat him up real bad. And he had to go to jail. Learned how to fight. Then he's on the revenge path. But not, 
not like America where they just shoot an Uzi everywhere. I mean, this guy is uh, methodical, planning it out and crack, taking them down. New Holland Brewery. Let me see if you can see this. It's right there. New Holland Brewery. Stop and taste. So just pull over and grab a beer. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, uh, uh, there was a vanity plate. We're on a vanity plate watch. Uh, if you're driving, you should not be on a vanity plate watch, but I'm a professional, so uh, I got it under control. Friday at 5 p.m., looks like I-270 lane closures. It's a little traffic update. Mm hmm. Bye. Seven seven one B Y E. That's a vanity plate for you. I don't know what the seven seventy one means though. So. Maybe it's nineteen. No, seventeen seventy one. I don't know what happened in that year. It might have been some sort of a war. Is that when we came to America? Us Americans? Oh, I was thinking about that too, Americans. Because uh, I have some friends that live in Canada. Got some friends that are from Mexico. And all those people are North American. So they could be considered Americans. So, in the land of PC world that we now live in, maybe people from the United States of America should be referred to as, uh, I don't know, USers. Good morning, Renee. Hope you're doing good. Welcome back to the great state of Michigan. Just started a new job. We gotta go out to lunch soon. It'll be good to catch up. Always fun. Smart woman, that Renee. Smart as a whip. Sharpest knife in the cupboard. Whoa, 80 miles an hour, that's pretty good. That's a standard standard speed limit for this uh, Detroit metro area. If you're just tuning in, I'm your host, Jimmy Ohio, your celebrity host. I am now currently driving on, uh, I think I'm still on 14 South. And uh, today I'm in a, Toyota Sienna minivan and I'm wearing my aviator glasses to denote that I am not in the Buick. Buick sucks anyway. I don't have a lot of billboards on this one. I like those billboards, the, the one that the, uh, the highways have, the digital billboards. They give you stats on, you know, people who died while driving. And uh, I consider those signs, you know, kind of distracting. I wonder how many people died trying to look at that sign. I bet there's a few. Tuesday morning, I set my uh, cell phone alarm 
to play Let It Be as the wake up. It's kind of nice, a little prayer for the morning. A little Let It Be. We got people merging all over the place. Especially this guy here. He's got all the cars. He's just zipping around. Hmm. Looks like we're near uh, Plymouth, Michigan. The uh, lake. Can't really read that water tower. Lake. I don't know. I'm just gonna guess. Lake Manitoba. Hello, mother. Hello, father. Greetings from Camp Hiawatha. Used to love that commercial. Hmm. Wonder if I'm supposed to get off on this exit. I'm just gonna act like I'm not backed up. Although there is a good chance I was. I'm not too familiar with this route. 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 Ford trucks. Ford tough. I can't see any of these signs. Sun's right in my eyes. Oh damn, I hope I didn't miss that exit. I mean, I hope that exit wasn't an exit I was supposed to take. I don't think it is. Then again, I don't really know. I'm on 96 now, but it's a different 96 than the other 96 think. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but I think. Oh, wait. Okay. This part has new asphalt. And the new asphalt part is near Redford. So I think I'm still going the right way. Used to have band practice with a friend in Redford. And uh, it's closed down for a while. The 96 because they're redoing the roads. And now they're redone. And I know where I am. There's a plate. It said BVM. But they were driving a BMW. <sighs> Maybe a dyslexic driver. I had to get my eyes checked. I gotta get my uh, license updated. It's coming up. And I put it off, of course. I mean, I got the eyes checked. Saturday, I went to this uh, boutique place in Ann Arbor. Ann Arbor, Michigan, and uh, yeah, so, you know, I got my eyes checked, the guy was super nice, and they cracked open a bottle of champagne for me, and gave me chocolates and little waters after I got my, uh, my eyes checked, real celebration, you know, that was like $12 right off the price of admission which wasn't too cheap. But again, as a celebrity, uh, you have to take precautions about being seen in the wild. It gets awkward. If you're just tuning in, 
you're uh, watching W Ohio. I am your host, Jimmy Ohio. And today we're in a Toyota Sienna. Blah. Can't talk. It's a Sienna. Toyota Sienna. Blah, 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 blah. Kind of boxed in here by some by some semis. Paint. There's a van that just passed by. It just said, "Paint." Wonder what they do. Inkster. Mm -hmm. Middle belt. Middle belt. Middle belt. Uh, talk to me, people. I got nothing. Hey, Kevin. I think Kevin still lives in Chicago or the surrounding area. There's a funny story of uh, my wife and Kevin and I went to an outdoor music conference. One of those where you, you know, camp out, sleep in the, sleep in the surrounding fields. And I had a Volvo station wagon at the time. And there was a little lake there. And uh, I don't know, maybe uh, four or five hours away from Chicago, in Illinois still, but down down south, southern Illinois, Illinois, my, uh, my wife's relative, we were, we were down in Tennessee, Poor Valley, Tennessee, for a funeral, and, uh, eating the bologna sandwiches on white bread in a double-wide trailer after the funeral. And her aunt asked us where we lived, and you know, we said, Chicago. She goes, I wouldn't move to Chicago if they gave me the whole state of Illinois. Probably a good idea. So, uh, Kevin and my wife and I were at this camp out music festival. Just about ready to go home. And I thought, oh, I'll just, you know, jump in the little pond, jump in the lake, cool off right before we go. <laughs> Bad idea. Lost the car keys. So, we called the local locksmith. I can't remember if he came out or if he just told me over the phone. He goes, I don't know how to work with, you know, non-American cars. I, he said non-American cars. So, he wasn't going to pick the lock, or he didn't want to pick the lock, didn't know how to pick the lock. Anyways, we're stuck, you know. And uh, the music festival was put on by some hippies in Chicago. So, my wife stayed behind. I think Kevin bailed, actually. I think he got a ride from somebody else. Anyways, I... Drove all the way back to Chicago with these yahoos that, I don't know, all they did was make fun of art school kids, which I happened to be an art school kid at the time. Got the keys, got the extra keys from my apartment. Real crappy apartment in a real crappy area. So crappy that my art school friends wouldn't even visit me. Grabbed the keys. Uh, went down to the uh, hippie commune, hopped in one of their cars, and they drove me back. So I picked up the car and the old lady, and we went back home to Chicago. But that was a suck situation. All my fault. Oh, look, I'm, I'm driving the right way. I had to take the local. 
do they have locals in other cities? In Detroit, you're driving down the uh, interstate, whatever it may be, 96, 14, I don't know. And so you got the fast part, you know, the normal four lanes, and then you can veer off to the right. So the four lanes are on the left, but you can veer off to the right. You're still on the same highway, but you get all the local exits. So if you're on the fast side, people don't slow down, you know, it, it doesn't clog anything up. But around here in the Detroit metro area, you also have the off-ramp stays in the same lane as the on-ramp. So there's a high level of collision risk. I mean, you know, they give you a football field or something to get over and adjust yourself. Whoa! Oh, I'm not going that way. Look at this. Traffic. Traffic! Your traffic report is brought to you by me, Jimmy Ohio. Uh, so I'm going to go the wrong way for a minute. Because that is ridiculous. I'm still passing traffic. This has been... Uh, I'm not good at measuring length. I'd say half a mile, maybe. Just, ooh, look at that. Did a slipstream. The one I'm going on, Southfield here, is... Uh, if you go to the right, there's no traffic. If you go to the left, there's a ton. I don't know what people do in Southfield, but uh, I wouldn't want to go there. So now I'm on Southfield, which is still a highway, but it turns into a road. It just stops being a highway. When is a highway not a highway? When it's a road. What a guess. Installers wanted for the carpet, guys. If you know how to install carpet, Look at carpetguys.com. Get a little, uh, little extra cash for Christmas, holiday cash. Be an interesting uh, career choice. Never done that. I have taken carpet up. It's much easier, I bet, than putting it down. That guy doesn't even have a license plate. I don't even know if that's legal. Must be on the lamb. Trinity Transportation Bus. Yellow school bus. I used to have to take the uh, school bus school of course where else would it take you no they they sometimes they take you on field trips but we had to go for an hour lived in the suburbs went to school in the city which seems odd but uh again it was a private school because of my notoriety just joining I'm Jimmy Ohio your host on W Ohio really not a whole lot of billboards at all and not a whole lot of vanity plates McNichols I lived in Detroit for a number of years and there is still areas that I do not drive around. Oh, look at this one. Stop distracted driving. Billboard. Billboard. <laughs> Ironic. I 
wonder if you could sue that billboard. You got a fender bender. Buick Rendezvous. Rendezvous. It's strange for an American car to have a French name. Especially a Buick. They're not a cultured uh, purchaser of cars. And I know this because I, I did some advertising work for him back in the day. They're simple folk, you know, that's, there's no problem with that. Probably shouldn't say that. I'm sure they're very smart. And I'm sure they speak fluent French words. Eight mile, we got one chance to blow go to 8 mile hmm. <clears throat> oh we got a, that truck that truck almost hit me by slowing down Nothing, 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 nothing. Well, I guess I'll let you go. Looks like I'm uh, gonna hit some traffic lights coming up here. Freeway, uh, look at that. Freeway ends, three fourths mile. And we also end this lovely broadcast the Tuesday morning drive stop drive stand still drive a little more es episode es escapode Eskimos yep I'm your host, Jimmy Ohio. You've been listening to uh, W Ohio in the Metro Detroit area, driving a silver Toyota Sienna, uh, made in the early 2Ks, Y2Ks. It's got a, uh, I think a six, six CD player. Listen to all the CDs you want, as long as you only have six of them. Yep, this is it. This is the end. This is the end, my dear old friend. Alright, everybody be safe. Enjoy your Tuesday and the rest of your week. And as always, I love you. Bye.